all right guys we are back in my garage for another video and today we are going to be updating the front end on my f3340i obviously you guys can tell what i've done or probably not because it looked pretty similar before what i've done is i've replaced my front grills on the front bumper to the new dual slat gloss black grills from keys motorsports and a huge thank you to them for sponsoring my build and partnering with me on my channel they have a bunch of these different options for you guys depending on your personal preference so i will have a link down in the description if you guys are interested in doing this mod but i've been putting off you know kind of like exterior mods for a while kind of focused on performance now i think it's a good time to start updating the looks of my car so it just looks as aggressive as it drives so we'll go ahead and talk about about the different options that are available and i'll show you how to install this mod on your car and hopefully you guys find this video useful now as always for everybody that's new to the channel i create these videos to help keep you updated on the latest developments in our community as well as discuss technical topics so that we have a better understanding of how our engines work so if you're interested in more videos like that, be sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more coming out in the future. Ready, set, so these are the grills that I went with and there are a couple things that make this different from an OEM grill. Of course, the big one is that it's gloss black all the way around. So I'm deleting the chrome that would typically be on an OEM 340i grill. The other big thing is I'm going to a dual slat design, and this is the big change because my 340i came with black grills, but they are the regular M performance grills that only have single slats here. These dual slat grills are the same style that they put on the F80 and F82, M3 and M4, and I just think that it suits the design a little bit better. So we're switching from single slat to dual slat. Also keep in mind, if you guys are seeing this video, no, my original grills are not for sale. I've given them away to one of my Patreon members. Usually that's how I do things when I swap out parts. I do a giveaway on my Patreon. So if you guys want to be included in one of those in the future, definitely join, you know, link down in the description. All right. The other thing that I want to show you guys is that these grills are different from 4 Series grills. And that's a common question I get from people. If a 440i owner is selling their grills, can I put them on my 340i? And unfortunately, you cannot. If you see the shape of them, they are different. The 440 grill is wider and shorter. The 340i grill is more narrow and tall. So it will not bolt up. They are not interchangeable. So if you have an F30, F31, you need one type of grill. If you have an F32, F33, or F36, you need a different kind of grill. But otherwise, the installation is going to be basically the same. So let's go over, hop over to the car and get these swapped. Now I've been looking at some of my older DIYs and compared to my new videos, I feel like I don't go into quite as much detail. So I just want to make sure that I cover everything on this DIY, even though it's pretty simple. I don't want to miss any steps, especially for those of you that have not done anything like this before. So let's go ahead and get back to our roots with this one. The first thing you should do is approach the driver's door of your car from the rear. Please do not approach from the front or you may startle the BMW. Then you will take one hand and place it on the door of the car in order to open it. Only use one hand. You may use your left or your right hand, but if you use two hands on the door, then you will need to replace it after you've opened it according to the BMW manual. Open the door slowly, then reach in, and after it's celebrated your entrance, you will pop the hood with two pops. Okay, I don't know if I can keep doing that, but let's keep this thing going. So next you go ahead and lift up the hood, and then we are going to remove this weather stripping that's going across the entire front of the car. Let's get a better angle of that. But yeah, just reach on one side and pull up all the way across, and it should literally release that easily. Now we're going to remove the upper part of the bumper in order to access the grill. So we've got six bolts along this edge. They're all T30s, you're going to remove those. And then up here by the headlight on each side, there's a T25. So we'll remove each of those as well. So 
So now with all of those screws released, you should be able to pull back on the top of the bumper and just pull it out like that. And that should give you plenty of room. So what you should see if you pull back the bumper enough is you'll see the tabs on the grill. So you can see here's one right in the middle. Doesn't want to focus, but there we go. So there's a bunch of tabs all the way around. There's another one. And you basically want to reach in here, go in here with a screwdriver and push those tabs in so that you can pull out the grill without breaking any of the tabs. It's a little bit difficult on the first one because there's just not a lot of space. But once you get the first one out, then you can actually reach through this hole and access the tabs on the other grill a little bit easier. So we're just going to take our time with this first grill to try to pop out all the tabs and then we'll be able to remove the second grill. And of course you can also look at your new grill so you can see how many tabs are on the top, on the side, and then on the bottom. There basically should be eight as you work your way around and that'll make sure that you're removing all the tabs before you try to pull it out. Let's start with the side one first, just cause I think it should pop out the most. There we go. And then as we work our way along the top, it should pop those out too. And you might want to pull on it a little bit while you're popping the tab to get it to fully release. The most annoying ones are for sure on the bottom. If you have like a little hook pick tool, then you can reach it down there and kind of angle it to pull it up to release those clips. But I'm just gonna kind of try to reach in with my hand. Yeah, that's not too bad. should come out there we go hey and see all our tabs well this one didn't have the best look but we got most of them actually I think this one was already like that because when I look at my new grill it looks the same so yep got them all out now like I said with the other one it's a little bit easier because we can just access the grill this way but otherwise it's the same thing you push in each of these clips and just work your way around there we go perfect now once you have those off the good news is the new ones literally just snap into place so we're going to line it all up push you should hear all the clips snap in give it a little tug to make sure it's in there all the way be embarrassed a little bit because it's so clean that it makes the rest of your car look gray but yeah much much better I know some people prefer the single slat look yes it is like the OEM upgrade from BMW this is kind of like the most M poser kind of mod I guess I do like I don't do the mirror caps or anything like that on my cars but I just really like how the dual slat grills look and it doesn't have like an M badge in it or anything but yeah I know some people don't like it because it's like copying the M cars but this stuff is just personal preference and ultimately if you showed this to somebody I think a lot of people wouldn't even know that you replaced it or upgraded it but it makes me feel better so that's the final look i just think it looks a little more aggressive a little i don't know it just looks better so now we'll go ahead and put our screws back in through the top to hold the bumper on and then we'll be done with this job also keep in mind there are like these clips that fit in these slots so in order to seat the bumper properly and just to kind of go down in the clip and the clip should slide over in those slots so like this one missed so realign it there we go and that'll make sure that all the holes and everything lines up properly oh and also there's like this little retaining feature on the headlights to make sure 
the bumper slides into that slot as well. Oh, and of course, don't forget to put your weather stripping back on. For some reason, I can never get this like even, but just kind of do your best. It overlaps on both sides a little bit, so try to center it and then start pressing it down on the bumper and it'll cover up all the screws and everything so your hood seals up properly. So yeah, it's literally that easy to swap grills on your F-Series. Again, a big shout out to Keys Motorsports for continuing to sponsor and support this build. I'll have a link down in the description to the different options that are available. But, you know, again, most people are just concerned about getting rid of the chrome, but there are multiple grill options depending on your preference. You can get the single slat, that's kind of like the OEM M Performance grill, or you can get the dual slat like I got, that's more like the F80 and F82, M3 and M4. And sometimes if you look around, you can find matte black or you can even find carbon fiber. So a lot of cool options out there depending on your personal preference. But yeah, ultimately I think this is just a nice OEM plus enthusiast upgrade that cleans up the front of the car. It's not too shouty or, you know, screaming at everybody that your car is modified. But if you know, you know, when you see something like that, you know that it does make a big difference. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.